I will tell you the steps I consistently take which truly make me look back on myself and feel unrecognizable. And I'm not talking about looking years or even months, I'm talking about truly looking back at myself last week and sometimes even just a few days and feeling like I made so much progress. You know how when you think back on yourself, let's say three to five years ago, you get that feeling of wow, things were so different back then, I grew so much. You can get that same feeling every few weeks in your life if you take the correct steps. And I know this sounds crazy, but I know it's a real thing because it's happened to me multiple times when I started my self-improvement journey. The first step everyone should take is start journaling every day for at least 5 minutes. I find this works best either first thing in the morning or as you're going to bed. If you're like me and are often rushed in the mornings, right before bed may be the best for you to remain consistent with it. But I do find that morning journaling sessions are most effective to help you set the foundation for the rest of your day and has more immediate short term results. But what I want you to do is just write about everything and psychoanalyze yourself down to the most inner layer. I want you to figure out what your purpose is. What you're going to do is just write down anything you're thinking about, anything you're feeling and go in depth as to why you're feeling that way and once you feel like you figure that out go into it even deep and you can do this with everything imagine you're going through some breakup right now and are sad about it go into it like why do i feel this way oh i feel this way because of the situation as to why we broke up i feel like a lot of it, it's her fault okay now why do you feel like it's her fault and what is she saying is my fault okay i feel like it's her fault because it's making me feel like this oh why do i really feel this way i feel this way because i don't think i feel hurt and that's what's making me feel a certain way this is probably because when i grew up I was bullied at school and this led me never feeling heard by anyone and now maybe it's eliciting this response and reaction from me okay so now that I know this what can I do in the future to improve so this can be done in just one session and this is very surface level and the way I found my purpose was I listed everything that helps me feel fulfilled and happy and all the work that I'm doing right now and how it relates to this feeling of fulfillment and after months of going deeper into this I was able to peel back that final layer and find a true sense of purpose in myself and now every action I make is in intentional to try to fulfill that purpose and I'm sure the more I journal the more I'll learn about this purpose. So journaling at night is useful because you can reflect on your day and everything that's happened in that day and then make a game plan for the next day. So start journaling. It will just help you skyrocket your performance and multiply the rate at which you improve and completely transform your life. The next step you should take is start reading but not for enjoyment but for your education. Find five to seven self-improvement books that you think would be useful and study them thoroughly. You don't need 30 self-improvement books because at a certain point you start repeating information with each other and I know this because I've read pretty much all the big ones plus more at this point. I have some videos on my channel of a couple of books I've read and I plan on making this into a series but find these books that you really like and cycle through them over and over again. You'll find as you start making progress and as you start going through life different parts of each book will be applicable to you and you'll have different takeaways. An example is from The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco where every time I read it I genuinely find new lessons to take away and implement into my own life. So yeah I don't keep reading new books because you honestly don't have to but get the five to seven you can keep cycling through and completely master this is really important because your education shouldn't stop at school school is where your education begins it's a bare minimum to get to where you want to in life you need to gather more education on your own time and one of the best ways to do this is through reading now i want you to find a book and the bare minimum read one book a month so that's 12 for the year and then you can narrow this down to the five to seven that you keep recycling ideally you want to read more than one a month at least for this one year so you can really narrow down those five to seven you really like and this is very possible if you simply set a goal to have reading time every single day. The next thing you need to do is some sort of physical activity and join some type of sport. It's key you do both. For me the physical activity I do is go to the gym and the sport I do is MMA. But this is truly going to transform your life in so many ways as it relates to your confidence, your physical appearance, the way you carry yourself and as a result of all of these the way others perceive you. We all know the benefits of sports like how sports and active living boost mental and emotional well-being but it also promotes community connections with what can and usually be very diverse environments right there are all types of people in these environments now you might be wondering why this is relevant to you specifically well this means that these important social connections have the power to transform your emotional well-being when you're around people you feel supported by and feel connected to you feel less stressed your mood is better your self-esteem is better I want all of you to start getting into active living and sports again whether that's a gym whether that's just playing pickup basketball at the park whether it's joining a rec league or playing with your family it doesn't matter join somebody to create that connection. I'm a real believer that if everyone in the world participates
participate in some sort of active living to the best of their capabilities, so many of the world's problems would be reduced. Imagine effortlessly melting away stress, boosting your mood, skyrocketing self-esteem, all by simply engaging in sports and active living. And the best part is when you participate with your community, these benefits multiply, creating a ripple effect of positivity that transforms not just your life, but the lives of everyone around you. So next time you do this, just notice and experience it with yourself. I remember in first year university, I moved away from home and, and knew no one. And I just went to play basketball since I noticed it was an open gym and I'm not even that good. But those friendships I made just by doing that, I'm still friends with those people I met on the very first day to this day. And it's a level of friendship where even though we may not talk regularly, if I see them, those are my boys. I love them. And if they need help with anything, I'm there. And that helped me make sure I didn't feel isolated even though I moved away from all of my family and friends. And the final step I want you to do is limit your social media time or better yet, completely delete your social media. The human brain is so easily distracted and pleased with with our phones that we essentially have little slot machines in our pockets which start up the second we start scrolling. So how do we stop this addiction? And to be blunt, I think the best way is to go cold turkey and delete those applications off of your phone. For me, my most used apps were TikTok and Instagram. I just deleted TikTok off my phone and forced myself to go without it. And on Instagram, I have all the notifications turned off and I gave myself a little leeway with Instagram, but I had to deal with myself that if I were to spend more than 30 minutes a day at any single point, even if it was for one day, I would delete it too. But so far, I've been under 20 minutes a day on average for the most part and if you're someone who won't be able to stay accountable with yourself and you know yourself for me i knew i wouldn't stay accountable if tiktok was still on my phone then delete it every app you can just get rid of it so yeah go cold turkey and delete those apps and don't start coping by using other applications like youtube to fill that time with and there's obviously a difference in content you can consume on these social medias and youtube but for the most part i find it's mindless content or short form content instead of productive educational content so get rid of it so how is controlling my social media consumption changed my life and let me tell you it's endless. I'm a student right now in grad school and the first thing I noticed that my grades went up, it felt like overnight I became a straight A student the first semester in. The next benefit was I noticed the amount of time I had in a day. I started working on different side projects. I'm working on starting up a charity. I have a few businesses that would be soon underway. I started a YouTube channel and I started writing more and finally got a publication and I have more pending as well under review. And all these accomplishments are things that would have been much more far in between or not at all rather than happening over the past year. And I didn't even completely get off social media. If I wanted to, I could reduce my time on it even more. So imagine how much you can accomplish if you just get off of it completely. Finally, it just improves your mood and you feel so much more present. I find myself generally feeling happier. Little things are more likely to make me feel excited. Getting five views on a YouTube video and I'm ecstatic. If I'm with my friends, just being around them and the thought before I even meet up with them gets me so excited. I'm finding myself showing everyone around me more love. Life just, I feel completely changed and I've been making more friends, my coworkers and other students and academics. I'm around, I'm finding one me there more it's contagious and you just grow so much faster and yeah you know how you look back on yourself three years ago and you're like wow i was so much more different and sometimes you might even cringe a little that's how i'm feeling regularly just by looking at myself three months ago the growth has been so exponential and i want all you to grow too as i grow through this i want to see if reducing my social media and screen time even more accelerates this growth or if at a certain point it plateaus and i'll definitely update you on what i find but you need to all start this today and these benefits go beyond the ones i just mentioned you're driving motivation to get things done go up as well and working is something i look forward to i went from working out three to four days on average to five to six days a week i'm stronger in my faith and achieving those goals faster i'm making progress in my mental and my faith faster so as a result of everything i'm looking and feeling better benefits are endless and they leak into so many different avenues in my life so i hope you found this video helpful please like comment and subscribe for more and continue becoming the best version of you that you deserve to give to the world i love you